Hello Prep 3, today we are going to talk about the last lesson in our curriculum, Unit 4, called Hormones. But before talk about hormones, we must know what's meant by a gland. What's meaning of gland or a gland is what? A gland is a structure which secretes a specific chemical substance or substances like what? Uh, we have a lot of glands in our body, sweat gland, salivary glands, uh, gastric glands and thyroid gland. A gland secretes chemicals into two ways. First way, bloodstream. Second way, some other parts of the body. So we have two ways uh, for glands. The gland secretes chemicals into bloodstream or some parts uh, or some other parts of the body. Like uh, here in this figures. First figure, we show that uh, some glands secrete uh, substance in the blood, uh, these substances called hormones, and other glands secrete substance uh, to other parts of the body. Glands in the body are exocrine gland and endocrine gland, but we study only endocrine gland. Uh, endocrine uh, glands secrete a substance called hormones, secrete hormones into directly the blood. Uh, without passing in the duct. Yeah, and then the endocrine glands secrete hormones, have no duct or ductless, and have a rich uh, blood supply. Endocrine glands secrete hormones uh, directly in the, in the blood, and these hormones uh, go to the target cells that this hormone affects. Every hormone in the body have a target cell uh, that affect on it. So, what's meant by hormones? Hormones are chemical messages that regulate the biological functions in all living organisms. Endocrine glands secrete more than 50 hormones in the human body. It travels in the blood. So, the only way, only way for hormones is the blood. And it has an effect at a site different from the site where it's made called the target cells. So the name of the cells that the hormone affect called target cells. So we must know what's meant by hormones, uh, the, the way that the hormone pass and the cell or the name of the cell that hormone affects. One, uh, the, the way for the hormone is the blood and the name of the cell that the hormone affects called target cells. So we, we will study the main uh, endocrine glands in our body the most important endocrine glands in our body first called pituitary glands second called thyroid gland third pancreas fourth adrenal gland uh, fifth testis and L ovaries okay First, we will talk about uh, the main gland in our body, uh, the main endocrine gland in our body called pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is the master gland. It's found in the uh, brain. Pituitary gland, uh, it locates below the brain. Uh, its size is very small, like a bee in size. And uh, its structure consists of two loops. Pituitary gland, uh, its function, it's called master gland or main gland. It's a very important gland in our body because it secretes hormones that regulate the most endocrine glands, like here in this figure. So, if uh, he asked me, uh, what, uh, 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 why uh, the pituitary gland called master gland or main gland? Uh, the answer will be 
because it secretes hormone that regulates the most endocrine glands in our body. What parts of the body does the pituitary gland affect? The pituitary gland affects uh, mammary glands, adrenal, thyroid, bone, ovary, testes, kidney, uterus, all these pituitary glands control them. The pituitary gland has often been called the master gland of the body because it secretes hormones that activate the other endocrine glands. It secretes hormones which activate what? Activate thyroid gland, adrenal gland, testes in male and ovaries in females. Also, it secretes hormones that target the mammary glands to activate them to produce milk during delivery. And also, it secretes a growth hormone that targets your muscles, bones, among other tissues, and determines the height the person will reach in his adult stage.